So this man on the left, Brian Turner, was two weeks shy of his 23rd birthday when he was hit and killed by a car in July. And police said the driver that hit him should never have had the keys. Joshua Lovingood was arrested Wednesday at a suspended license. And now new documents tell us exactly what he was doing moments before the crash. On your side's Lana Harris live for us this morning with that brand new information. Lana. Good morning. Drinking is what he was reportedly doing with customers at a bar where he was working at. So then after that, police say that he was speeding down 2nd Street North in Jack's Beach when he hit two people and then ran into a stop sign and then crashed into a palm tree and then his car flipped. So I want to get to this video for you showing how badly that car was crushed afterwards. Surprisingly, Lovingood walked away from that uninjured. The one person he hit, 22 year old Bryn Turner, was killed. His friend Julio Gomez was seriously injured and he's still recovering to this day. Now, prior to that incident, Lovingood already had two DUI charges and a history of traffic penalties. At the time of the crash, his license was in fact still suspended. So then police say that at that crash scene, Lovingood's eyes were bloodshot and he smelled of alcohol, but he was still released. He wasn't arrested that night. So the question is why? Why was he let go? Sergeant Larry Smith with Jack's Beach Police says it was because he'd consented to a blood alcohol test, so they wanted to wait for those results. Listen to this. It's very common for the person to be have the have the blood taken from and have the blood sent to a lab and have the person released uh, to be freed, basically. Uh, wait for the results of the, uh, the lab test before we go forward with the investigation and the arrest. Now, Loving Goods blood alcohol level was a 0.228 as a result of that test, and it did show uh, THC in his system. And that 0.228, by the way, is about three times what the legal limit is. So he is being extradited here to JSO. He will be here soon. And coming up in the 530, we'll talk about, uh, again, why police had to wait to press charges. Here outside of the jail, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.